With the surge set to end next month, state leaders are pushing to extend the Texas National Guard stay at the Mexico border. Today, Lieutenant Governor Dan Patrick announced plans to keep Guard members in the Rio Grande Valley through May and possibly beyond. But as KXAN's political reporter Phil Prazen found out, not everybody thinks that is such a good idea. The word got out that Texas was serious about securing our border. Lieutenant Governor Dan Patrick and Senate Republicans stood side by side to say the thousand security forces we sent to the border got results. Now is not the time to remove the National Guard from the border. Last year, leaders approved the surge to stop the influx of children illegally coming into Texas from Central America. But the money for that only goes until March. Republican leaders want to get the House and governor on a plan to keep them there until May. We cannot pull back now. That would cost $12 million. There are no outcome measures. There's no performance measures. And just a few hours later, Democratic Senator Jose Rodriguez held up the Legislative Budget Board Effectiveness and Efficiency Report, which he says shows waste and inefficiency with the surge. For us to be able to get a sense that there's no duplication, that they are actually wisely spending the tax dollars. Behind him stands pastors, the Austin Chamber of Commerce, and immigration rights activists saying Texas has backtracked to anti-immigration stances. The surge is a show of your money on the border, and many lawmakers want to spend more. Phil Prazen, KXAN News. Governor Greg Abbott did not attend that announcement, and as Commander-in-Chief of the state's military forces, he will have the final say in whether troops remain at the border. Meantime, tomorrow morning, hundreds of immigration rights activists plan to rally on the steps of the Capitol to push for more accountability when it comes to border enforcement. Lawmakers say there is proof the border surge is working. Today, they released statistics that show the impact made by sending the extra personnel. The number of unaccompanied children caught crossing the border stood at more than 10,000 in the month before the surge started. The number dropped in half one month after the surge. Supporters say the surge also resulted in nearly $2 million worth of drugs seized at the border.